guys, it's Gabby JMUA. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a Vegas haul for you guys, an affordable Vegas haul and how you can spend without spending too much. I just recently got back from a Vegas vacation. I spent two weeks in Vegas for the WSOP event for my dad. He's a professional poker player. So I was there for two weeks and we kind of had to budget a little bit because he was using his money for the WSOP and we had just a little bit to spend for fun and whatever. So we did have to budget but we did ball on a budget. So let me guys show you just a few things that I got in Vegas for really cheap and affordable but also high-end brands. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button if you like me and what I do. Please hit that like button if you like these kinds of videos, tips, tricks, how to save money on high-end products, whatever that stuff. Let's get right into the video, guys. So I'm gonna get started with apparel and clothes, fashion, that stuff. Um, I got this dress and a couple other dresses, the same style, just different colors. I got this at H&M. It was $4. All three dresses that I got from H&M were $4. They had a like a sale going on, like a 4th of July sale going on. They had stuff for $4, $5, $7, 10, 15, and then so on. But I think like the least for clothing was about three or four dollars. So I got these dresses, just the plain ones, because I like to accessorize more. They did have a few other dresses that I really like, but I'm kind of the type of person to wear like, I don't really like wearing things that a lot of other people wear. <laughs> these are like the skater skirt style dresses, so they're really tight fitted up here, and they're really, really flowy from like the waist down. So they're really pretty, they're super comfortable. I do think, honestly, the sizes run a little bit small. I'm a size zero, double zero, and this dress I have here is a two. So just keep that in mind if you are thinking of going to H&M and looking for these dresses. They were $4, so I bought a bunch of them. Um, I got this one. It is a white dress, so it's really, really pretty. I know white is a little bit risky, but with this style dress, like it, it fits the body really, really well, and I just really like it. I am horrible with white, but I'm, I'm hoping this will wash pretty well. The material is really nice, so I think it'll wash really well. Um, it wears really well, so I really like this dress. I also got a little polka dot. It's black. It kind of looks a little bit blue. I think that's just my eyes. It is black. I wear this whenever I feel like I want to look 60s. I will pair this with my red flats and a bold red lip, some eyeliner, and it looks freaking gorgeous. I love this dress so much. I wore it in Vegas and I got so many compliments. <laughs> Those were the dresses that I got from H&M. I think that's all I got from H&M. I know my mom got a few things, but yeah. So I went to this place inside of Circus Circus like they have like these little gift shops and I got this hat It's a red Las Vegas hat. It just says Las Vegas Las Vegas on the side and Las Vegas on the back It is a velcro. It's very adjustable. So it's really nice. I don't usually wear hats like this like, especially ones that say, like, cities on it. I'm not that kind of person. But I thought this was really cute. I really like the color. And it's a Vegas hat, so it's gonna look cute with anything. So, as long as it says Vegas on it, you know? <laughs> I did wear this hat in a few of my pictures on Instagram. You can see the Las Vegas on my forehead. I wore it backwards. I really like wearing my hats backwards because I can pair it with one of my hipsy headbands. And the hipsy headband will just pop, like, right in the thing. So yeah, it's really cute. I like it. I wore this with my white H&M dress and it looked really cute. So trust me, it's cute. <laughs> I forgot to say how much the price was for the hat. The hat does range a little bit because they sell this like everywhere at like every single hotel. They sell this everywhere. Some places sell this for like $5.99. $6.99, $9.99, and I'm like, really, would you spend $10 for a Las Vegas hat that you can get anywhere? No. No. If this were $10, I wouldn't have bought it, but I did get this at Circus Circus for $2.99, so it was practically a steal for me. If it were any higher of a price, I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> but it is cute, though. It is cute, though. 
At that same gift shop, I got this dress. You guys might have seen it on like my Instagram and stuff. It is a yellow, really floral dress. It ties in the front. It's super, super pretty. It's a high-low dress. So it, it looked like that. And it has like this really pretty floral pattern. It really reminds me of Hawaii, the place that I've never been to. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. It's very form-fitting, but it's very flowy at the same time. So it's just one of those really pretty summer dresses. I got it in yellow just because it's bright and it's bold and it's summery. Not a lot of people wear yellow, so when you're out on the street, they're like, whoa, this girl's wearing yellow. Good for her. <laughs> this dress was, I think it was $5.99. Yeah, it was $5.99. So it wasn't like too, too expensive, but the material's really nice. It's such a soft, flowy material. It's not the type of dress that you're gonna sweat in and it'll show, like it's not, it's not that type of dress. But yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, a lot of people thought it's like a rich girl dress. Like when I showed one of my friends a picture of me in the dress, they were like, wow, you must come from a rich family. And I'm like, that dress was $5.99. Like chill for a second. <laughs> So now we're going to go ahead and get into the makeup that I got over the course of the two weeks that I was in Vegas. Um, so I went to Marshalls a lot on the strip. There's a Marshalls. It's right next to the Coca-Cola factory if you want to look for it. It's a really, really good Marshalls. I got a lot of my higher end makeup there. It's like insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. So I just want to say something about Marshalls. Um, every single Marshalls across the nation is different. You're going to find different products. You're going to find different brands and different... I don't want to say formulation because I'm not like 100% sure if the products that I have here are the same as what you'd find in a Sephora or an Ulta. But I do know they're really, really good. Um, I got this Marc Jacobs style icon palette in the night owl for $19.99 they range i want to say they're about $60 if i'm wrong just tell me in the comments and i'll be like okay but it comes in this really cute little package it's a mark jacobs um it looks really like it's just a mark jacobs palette like i don't know what else to say you do have to be careful about what like palette you get because there was a couple of other ones there and People like to open the packaging and swatch them and I, I'm not for that. So I did open this before I bought it and I checked to see if it wasn't swatched and it wasn't. So I got this. I sanitized it beforehand before using it and it works amazingly. I mean, look at this gold. And that's pigment. That's freaking it, that's, dude, that's pigment. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch this. Okay, people say it's green, but I think it's blue, okay? My mom's shaking her head in the back. She thinks it's green, I think it's blue. I have this trouble, like, with greens and blues. I can't tell the difference, but I think that's, that's freaking blue right there. Is it not? She's like, no. But it, anyway, it's really pretty. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. And it blends out just like any other Marc Jacobs. Like, there's there's no difference to me. It's just a Marc Jacobs palette. Except it was $20 and not $60. So, I forgot to put the little thing back in. See? It's a little Marc Jacobs. It's cute. She cute. She cute. So since we're on the subject of Marc Jacobs and Marshalls, I also found this Marc Jacobs palette at Marshalls for $20. It's a bronzer. It is, it says 60 high filter and I'm not like a Marc Jacobs expert, but it does say 60 high filter. It is a duo palette. So it has the lighter shade and the darker shade. The, this freaking palette changed my contour game. After using this palette, like looking back, I just think, what was my contour? What was my contour even about? I don't know. I don't know. So this, it's just like an average Marc Jacobs palette. Okay, so I looked at this, I opened this palette too before I bought it. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I like to check to see because people, again, they like to swatch things, even if they're in the package. I don't like when people touch things I wanna buy. I did sanitize this too before I used it, so make sure if you're buying like 
a palette or something, even a, like a lipstick or something from Marshalls, make sure you sanitize it before you use it. People are dirty. You don't want your dirty, their dirty hands on your face. It transfers. Sorry. Even if, even if it looks clean, still sanitize it. Just, you want to be clean. You want your face to be clean. Okay? Okay. Okay. Just to let you know that this was 1999 too. So I got two Marc Jacobs palettes for $40 total. That's about, if that palette was $60, this palette, I'm not like sure on the exact price, but let's just say it's $60 too. That would be like $120 and I got it for $40, so. <laughs> I also got this Too Faced palette. It's the Love palette. It comes in three different little eyeshadow cubicles. It's really cute. I got it for $16.99. I'm not really sure how much this specific palette goes for. I This is the first time I've seen it. When I was at Marshalls, I was like, hmm, this is interesting. I've never seen this before. Then I thought it was really pretty. So I got this. I haven't used it yet. I haven't like made any looks with it yet, but I'll definitely let you guys know if it works, the formulation and everything about that. I'm going to have to sanitize it, like I said, before using it. So I'm gonna take it out of the box really quick just to show you guys. Like that's the palette. It's like really, really cute. It kind of gives me like Paris vibes. Look, it's like, it's a stamp. I forgot it for a second. I was like, what is that called? It has like a little stamp. So it's like a letter. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. How do I do this? How do I do this? Okay. What? Okay. So this is what the palette looks like. It's super, super pretty. Oh my God. Okay, so it has like, on the mirror, it has like little, I don't want to like blind you guys with my ring light, <laughs> with the mirror. Um, it has these names for each little cubicle. This one right here is pure love, this one is true love, and this one is forbidden love. Um, it's like, it's really cute. It comes with an eyeliner. I'm not really sure how it works. I think it's black. It has a little smudger, so that's cute. I'm probably going to take this out and put like a little brush in it for like a to-go thing. Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm gonna swatch this one right here because I really like this color. So. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's like, like a mauve shade with like some gold shimmer undertones to it. Oh, that's really cute. I'm gonna like this palette a lot. I'm gonna use it like every day. I'll probably take this palette a lot while traveling since there's three cubicles and with like different colors you can create a lot of looks with that so I'm definitely going to keep this for traveling purposes. This was $16.99 at Marshalls. So. so another thing that I got at Marshalls, I didn't buy them all at the same time. It was in the course of two weeks. So yeah, <laughs> I found these velour lashes. I'm wearing them right now. It's in the style Larry Godmom from the Fluff and Thick Collection. Collection. The price, there was like a, another little like slip-on box, you know those things, the slip-on box thing. That had the price on it. I don't know where that went. Don't ask me, I was on vacation. It was $10, it was $9.99, and these retail for $26. So I got it for over 50% off. It was at the Vegas Marshalls, so I'm not entirely sure if they sell velour lashes in the other smaller Marshalls, but I'm almost positive that you can find really high-end lashes like velour at Marshalls in like Vegas or LA or New York, stuff like that. I got these lashes Flurry Godmom for $10. It was really good. It was a really good price. There was like three other lashes there, but we were on a budget So I couldn't spend like $50 on lashes like I wish I could but yeah velour for $10 That's a steal right there. I don't care who you are. Marshall's. I want to meet Marshall and I want to thank Marshall. Marshall so I actually did go to Sephora. I went to the one, the new one, inside of Planet Hollywood, and we got some little masks, some face masks. Where we live in Texas, it's really humid here, so like going to the dry heat in Las Vegas really dries out your skin like crazy. I got a few other ones too, but I did use them in Tex in. I did use them in Vegas. 
so sorry. But I did get these two. I still have them. I haven't used them yet, but I really love these masks. I feel like Sephora masks are really underrated because there's like so many different masks out there, but Sephora is something that I always go back to because they just are so soothing and amazing on my skin. I have a little bit of texture right now just because of the back and forth traveling. I got the algae mask. It is a purifying, detoxifying mask. So I'm actually probably going to use this today. Yes, yes, I'm going to do that. Um, I did get also the rose mask. It's ultra hydrating. I used another rose mask while I was in Vegas and it really really helped my skin with the hydration issue of the dry heat and everything it was 117 degrees in Vegas yeah it was really really hot <laughs> but yeah I really really like these masks these go for about six dollars yeah and they also have lip masks and eye masks they have a foot mask and a hand mask that I really want to try. I don't want just my face to look good. I want my entire body to look good and feel good and feel nice. So yeah. So while I was at Sephora, I did get a few samples of the Drunk Elephants TLC serum and the Good Jeans Lactic and the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. I used all of this up plus like a little other sample. It really, really helped my skin recover from an allergic reaction that I had with tea tree oil. I don't wanna talk about it. It really changed the texture of my skin. It was really, really nice. But I did hear a lot of things and really good reviews about this. This is 12% glycolic. It also has ingredients that soothe the skin so it's not going to dry out the skin too much. Um, I've only used this one so far. I used it last night so I'm not sure how I like it. They said that your skin kind of goes through a WTF thing and then it starts to work because of the 12% glycolic. Your skin is like, whoa, that's a lot. So I'm gonna keep using this and see how my skin likes it and how it reacts. Those were just a couple of samples that I got so I will let you know how this works. But this looks really good, but I don't know how this works. While I was at Sephora as well, I got the House of Lashes glue. I got the black one just because I wear a lot of dark eyeliner and when I use like white clear glue, it just, it doesn't dry right. So I got the black one. So yeah, I really like it. It doesn't like peel off throughout the day like most lash glues do. I don't like when I put on my lashes and at the end of the day like the corners are sticking up and it's not pretty. So but this one it doesn't budge like at all. I haven't had any problems with this glue. Um, It was $10 so it wasn't like too expensive but it is like a higher end product compared to like Duo and stuff like that. But I think it's worth it. Like this glue does not move. It will not move on you. So not really surprising for you guys. I went back to Marshalls and I got the e.l.f. Natural Glow Face Palette in Fresh and Flawless. Wake up, flawless, poster, flawless, round, round in it. I've been obsessed with Beyonce recently. It looks like this. It's super, super pretty. Their packaging, guys, has stepped up. Like, I don't, I was not expecting this when this came out. It's a mirror. Like, I can't even show you guys without blinding you with my ring light mirror. Like, do you see this right now? It reflects. I can see the light on the floor. I got distracted by shiny objects. So I'm gonna swatch the highlighter for you guys. Just because the bronzer and the blushes are super, super light on my skin, I just tried to swatch them right now. And it didn't really come out that well because my skin is really dark right now. So this is the highlighter. You guys can see it. it's really glowy. It is a natural sheen. It's really pretty if you want like a subtle daytime glow. This palette was $3 at Marshalls. I'm not entirely sure how much this palette is in the e.l.f. store. I'm pretty sure it's about $6. So let's say that you we got this for 50% off. So yeah. So I did get some Pacifica wipes. They were $3, but I just don't, I don't like these wipes. 
I'm sorry. I love Pacifica. I love their micellar waters. I use their Kale, Le Kale Lux moisturizer every single day. They're an amazing brand. I love what they stand for, but this, these damn wipes do not work out for me. They burn my skin. I have another set of wipes. Those burn my skin too, so I'm not I don't know. I got those wipes at Ulta and I got these wipes at Marshalls. So I don't think it's a formulation issue just because they were at Marshalls, but they did burn my skin. But it just, it doesn't feel good. I'm sorry. It doesn't feel good. It burns my skin. It pulls at my skin. I feel like I'm tugging every time I'm trying to get my makeup off and it doesn't get all of my makeup off. So I have to go in with another product. So I don't know if it's just my skin, but I heard some other people say that it burned their skin too. If you've tried the Pacifica wipes, then just let me know if you had the same reaction because I really, really love Pacifica and I want you guys to love Pacifica. I just, I'm sorry, I didn't like these wipes. So I went back and I got the Simple Kind to Clean Kind. How do you say this? I got the Simple Kind to Skin Cleansing. Say that five times fast. I can't do it. These were also three dollars, so I just got these instead. Well, I got both of them. But anyway, I really, really like these wipes so much better. They're so soft. They're so kind to my skin. It has like a soft end and then on the other side it has an exfoliating, exfoliating end. It's such a good product, guys. Like I've used so many makeup wipes since I was like this tall and these are my favorite by far. Like so much better than every single makeup wipe I've ever used. These are my favorite. It's the simple cleansing wipe. And they were three dollars like these are the cheapest good wipes that i've ever purchased and i got them at marshall's so yeah i love marshall's so i also got the stila got inked cushion eyeliner in amethyst ink it's a really pretty cobalt blue color so oh no it's purple just kidding huh it's really pretty you guys i haven't used it in any of my looks yet so i'll let you know like how it works on my eyes. It was $4.50. I'm not entirely sure how much this retails for on their website. It's probably just like any other liner, but I got it for $4.50. That was a steal for me, like steal it for $4. Really? Really? Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. So the last product that I got from Marshalls and just in Vegas in general is the Cream Shops little boot. Oh no. The Cream Shops booty blender. It's really cute. It's a little sponge and it comes with this stand. I really, really like this product. It's squishy. It doesn't like beat at my skin. It's like dense enough to pack product on, but it doesn't like punch me in the face every time I use it. So yeah, it works really, really good. And this little stand is a uh, freaking amazing because I used to like just throw my beauty blender anywhere and everywhere that I could. And this is like, it's just sitting there. And it's like, hello, I'm sanitary. This was $4, I believe. It was like three or $4. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have the box anymore, but it is the Cream Shop. So they're amazing. I really like them so far. I've never used the Cream Shop before using this. So, so far, I really like them, guys. It's a really, really cute dupe to the Real Techniques. It's a little bit more dense, but that's okay because it doesn't punch me in the face. And it's blue. I like blue. Can you tell I like blue? My mom says it's green, but I say it's blue. So leave it. Leave a comment saying whether or not this is green or blue. Because I think it's blue. I'm getting really stressed out over it. You know what? If the cream shop ends up watching this, I'm going to ask the cream shop whether or not this is green or blue because I need to know right now. <sighs> I'm stressed out now. Okay, so last but not least, when I got home from Vegas, I got a little package from Thrive Cosmetics. They sent me this little necklace and a new palette that they are coming out with in this next month. I'm super excited to talk to you guys about it. This necklace, guys, it has a little G, if you can see it from here, but it's like 
super pretty and it has a little like marble ball that's blue. My mom's giving me that face again and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Anyway, it's a really pretty color. I love this color. I love everything about this necklace. It's so dainty. It's so me. Thank you so much Thrive Cosmetics. It's such a freaking gift. I feel so blessed. I love it so much. Thank you guys so much. So that is the end of this Vegas affordable high-end falling on a budget haul. I'm super excited about this haul and this video and just everything about it. I love giving you guys tips and tricks on how to save money because at the end of the day whenever you have a chance to save money like that's like if i had a chance to save money i will save money i would choose that option if you guys like this video if you guys like me please hit the like button also please hit that subscribe button if you want to join the fam i don't know what to call you guys yet leave a comment tell me what you guys want to be called if you want to be notified for future videos, hit that little bell. If you guys want to see all products that are on my face right now, I'm going to post that on Instagram at GabbyJMUA. If you guys want to see what my life is like, you guys can follow me on Snapchat at Gabriella OFFIC. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful night, wherever you are. Remember guys, happy girls are always the prettiest, happy boys are always the prettiest, happy people are always the prettiest. Just be happy. Bye guys. My turn. Who got the power? move on to the much good the much the much good it's much good no it's in the side in the in the no in the side of the big in the side of the big girl no. the side of the big pouch while i was at <laughs> that sounded so country what <laughs> well you are in texas gabby it's not green it's blue! It's actually teal. Or mint green. It's a mint green. While I was at Sephora as well, I went and got the hush... Hush. I can't talk! My foot's falling asleep. I'm having issues right over here. I can't... Oh, God. God. What? Algae? Algae? Algae. Algae. <laughs> it's pronounced algae. <laughs> Didn't we go through this last time, ice cream man? I don't want your shit. Boy, get out of here. I've never seen anybody buy, buy ice cream from him. Um, and the rose mask. I love this mask really, really, really much. <laughs> Speaking is difficult for me, I'm sorry. I've had issues. It's beginning to be a trend. <laughs> it is a Tiffany blue. Uh, the little Buddha there is... Blue. <laughs> I think we're done.